looking looking at a life sentence, it's you know it's hard. I picked up two strikes for drugs and gang related crimes. I gotta live my life on eggshells. I was sentenced to 15 to life. I've been shot. I've been stabbed. It's it's a little bit hard, man, because second generation West Side Crip gang member. I, I'm stressed out beyond belief. You know, I have trouble sleeping at night. The things that I've done in my life. We have to learn the hard way in life. And me, unfortunately, I had to learn the hard way in life. In and out of jail because of it. This was very powerful for me. I can't do this, homie. Could you stop for a second? Yep. Thousands of inmates are released to American streets, spreading hysteria, alarm, and fear in communities throughout our country. American prisons are overcrowded, and the government faces a dilemma of financial crisis. Law enforcement agencies are overwhelmed, and the politicians consider this a no-win situation. But is it? So we're gonna breathalyze you right now. Is that, are you cool with that? You guys are always messing with me. It's always something with you guys. Come on, man. Is that what you think? Is that what I think? Is that what you think? That's what I think. You don't think we're trying to help you? In so many ways. What's up with you, little homie? What's in you? This is a little joke. All I'm here to do is try and change myself. And it seems like I always run into a brick wall no matter what I do. No matter where I go, nobody ever understands me. Nobody's here to help me. You guys are here to make money, and that's the way that I feel. I became homeless. I slept underneath the bridge. I ate out of dumpsters. I sold my world championship cup for $500 worth of dope. It doesn't discriminate. And it's killing, it's killing our youth. It's the lifestyle that produces many, many graves. Their lives are getting torn apart by this meth and uh, cocaine and heroin. Our youth are waking up dead in the streets. It's a heavy burden. I'm calling a rallying cry to the community. I'm calling it rallying cry, but it's, it's the police, it's corrections, it's the community. Yes. It's the people that are being hurt to gather together and use that pain now to motivate them, not just to lock people up, but to help them get back to the streets. That's my job. I don't want to go to prison for life, man. I really don't. No, I'm better than that. I really am. Looking at the state of California, currently our prisons are at 210,000 people. $31,000 per person to incarcerate someone. It's in the billions we're spending. At some point in time, the light switch is going to go on. After 28 years, it's something there's just experiences I don't know, I, I, I don't know how to deal with. It's important to give them the tools to, uh, to be successful, give them an opportunity to stay away from the life of crime. And so here at the training center, you know, we have a, a myriad of problems. Someone who's done nothing but time, that's all they know, is they know how to get high and they know how to do time. And hopefully the games are over, and hopefully this is a, a chance for them to turn their lives around, and it's a time to get their life straight. As long as you give folks opportunities to change their life, then they have to take it and run with it. Wow, just counting my blessings. I had people around me who cared. It was just overwhelming, you know.